the NBA bubble. Safe to say we've seen nothing like this before. And I'm just not talking about there being no fans. I mean there's been so many big performances in the bubble, players going off. It seems like a player scoring 40 is common. But with the first round done and over with, I will talk about every team's chances of winning a ring, in my opinion. I'm surprised at how good this team has been. 6-0 in the playoffs, and you've managed to take a 2-0 lead against the Bucks, the team with the best record in the league, and the favorite to win back-to-back -back MVPs in Giannis? This team, led by Jimmy Butler, has been amazing in the playoffs so far. If they can knock off the Bucks, they have a really good chance to make the finals. Don't count out Milwaukee, though. You pretty much had a bye in the first round against the injured 76ers, but this is your best shot to win. You have four great players that can lead you to a championship, but is it good enough? That we will have to find out. You would have a 3-0 lead on Toronto if OG and Anobi didn't get left open and hit a shot with 0.5 seconds in Game 3. I expect you to beat the Raptors in 6 and have a close series in the Eastern Conference Finals, but not quite making the chip. You've proved a lot of people wrong. When Kawhi left, everyone thought you would be done. But you managed to stay strong and make the playoffs as a two seed. For you, the Nets didn't have a team, so you had a bye in the first round. But the Celtics looked like they could eliminate you. And you haven't looked that good in the second round. You've looked strong without Kawhi, but he was the one that led you to a title. You put up a good fight, but I think it ends here most likely. You have been a little disappointed in the bubble. Everyone thought you were a guaranteed final spot in the weak Eastern Conference, but you dropped a game to the Magic and now you're down 2-0 to the Heat. You better step it up because you won't have Giannis forever. If you don't give him a ring, he might leave to a team that will. Please, for the love of God, don't go to Golden State. Well, we can finally say for the first time in four years, Russell Westbrook has made it past the first round but he did it in seven games against a team that had a 1% chance to make the playoffs. This team fought hard to get past the Thunder in a close seven game series, but your small ball isn't gonna get you very much further. Enjoy losing to the Lakers in five games. You just came off probably the best series of the entire playoffs. Donovan Mitchell and Jamal Murray combined for 400 points in that series. That's insane. And Donovan Mitchell, had the third most points scored in a playoff game. Lucky for you, the Jazz bore a 3-1 lead and Donovan Mitchell had butterfingers on the last play. Even with all that, Mike Conley almost sent you home, but it rimmed out. You left it all on the court that series, but you don't have anything left and it shows as you got blown out by the Clippers in game one. You gotta drink some five hour energy or something. You were gassed. This team is my favorite to win it all. Led by Kawhi and Paul George and the best bench in basketball, they have the most depth out of any team. Plus, they're younger than the Lakers. After taking down the Mavs in six, they face a team that already has a Gatorade symbol before game one. I expect them to beat the Lakers in seven and win the finals in six. It's either you or the Clippers. LeBron is getting old now, and we don't know if he has another finals run in him. Sure, Anthony Davis is amazing, but it's going to come down to if LeBron has it in him. Just don't lose to the Rockets. They don't even have a center. I believe the Clippers, the best defensive team in basketball, is winning it all. I know people don't agree with me, and everyone just says the Lakers are the better team, and they're going to win it all, but we'll see. This is the Epic Luke signing off, and bye.